Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently working on getting the L Cluster. I'm a little bit concerned about the Dorbalan Consortium being right here, but we need to get in here for sure. We need to start clearing this out and we need to think about how we want to do that. I believe this is normally their base where they're spawning from. So what we really need is to take this system and this system. Ideally with one fleet each. We're a little ways away from being able to do that, of course. We can continue to reinforce here. That would be fine. We also have this archaeological site pending. Krant 1 is virtually fractal. The same wild collisions of natural and obviously artificial geography visible from space are replicated on the personal scale planet side. There are mountains with perfect pyramidal bases and jagged craggy summits. Rough tundra that suddenly becomes a perfectly smooth plain of bare rock. Until another weathered natural formation bisects it. The juxtaposition of irregular boulders and rocks scattered among perfect cubes the size of a microchip or a hab block. As yet, we can only imagine how this could have come to pass. Well, we'll continue to look into that. We need jobs on this industrial world. And I would absolutely love to put in a Ministry of Production here if we can. Can we get one? Yes. Done. This industrial world here, can we get a Ministry of Production here? I don't think so. No, we're not large enough yet. So we're going to put in an industrial district. I've changed my mind. We are going to put in an alloy foundry. Beautiful. And then from there, everything else looks reasonably good, other than this colony, which of course requires a gene clinic and a city district. There we go. Cool. So as far as this goes, we're going to proceed for the moment. These guys are leaving. Okay. I'm just thinking here about how we want to progress this. Getting terminal egress is of utmost importance. So I think this is the plan. We're going to move these guys to the black hole. We're going to grab our science ship here. We're going to put it on passive. And we're going to tell it, survey this system. Let's go. We need to get this system surveyed. We are going to need reinforcements up here, but getting this system is a huge priority for us. I'm also going to take our construction ship, and we are going to jump in simply to the L game, and we'll put this also on passive. Okay. There we go. So our reinforcements are streaming in, and I believe we'll end up surveying this faster than they will. Yeah, we definitely will. So that's very, very good. Refugees have arrived. That's fine. Clone army has finished up. And we're going to grab galactic campaigns for right now. Cool. Now, this bastion here needs a defense grid supercomputer, which we'll go ahead and put in. Anything else going on? Not for the moment. Okay. So they've popped in over here. Let's see what their plan is. Hey, Serpent Minerals. Cool. Looks like they're coming in to attack us. Engaging they will lose this. Fleet. Now, they're engaging here, not these guys. So we're going to move in. I'm also going to temporarily up our edicts here. I want all of these. There we go. So obviously, this Corvette will die. That was always going to happen here. But their fleet will die as well. Cool. So that's out of here. The Great Khan Obi-Wan has uh, rebuilt. Good job, Obi-Wan. And we're now going to ditch those upgrades for the moment. And we will continue to reinforce this fleet, of course, with what we can. Cool. Construction complete. Initiating communications. So we're definitely surveying faster than they are. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. We also have this migration treaty proposal, and I mean, I think that we obviously accept this. I think that the answer to that is very, very clear. Cool. Hostile Our construction ship has popped in, and their fleet is now up over here. We will move to intercept. 
I'm going to move our science ship back a bit here. Okay. Now it should be relatively safe. We see another Tempest Chill coming in. But that's to be expected. We can eliminate this one quite quickly. There we go. And now we can come back over here and fight this one. Which is exactly what we plan to do. Fleet signatures, huh? Readings suggest the presence of an unknown fleet in orbit of terminal egress. They do not respond to hails. We're going to leave that one be for the time being. It's very important that we get this place surveyed. Initiating communications. Okay. Commercial pact. We decline. That's way more valuable for them than it is for us. We also have this site pending. Archaeologists have unearthed more and more fossilized remains in the valley, and the count is now up to 26 different distinct sapient species, none of them native to Drisk Prime. Those fossils that have been sufficiently preserved to determine a cause of death all point towards physical trauma inflicted by blades, spears, or arrows. Not a single specimen appears to have been felled by the equivalent of modern projectile or energy weapons. The ruins of a small structure of some sort have been found near the entrance of the valley. It appears to originate from the same time period as the fossils. Perhaps it will shed some light on things. Well, we'll look into that. Okay. So we're eliminating another Tempest Shoal here. Complete. There we go. Now, we're definitely taking hits. There's no doubt about that. We'll enter orbit here, and we will continue to reinforce as best we can. But it's definitely rough. There's no doubt about that. We're starting to get into the risky portion of surveying up here. But we do have more reinforcements streaming in. Okay. Hopefully it'll be a little while before the Tempest Chills show up again. Technology discovered. We did just grab neutron launchers. That's fine. We're going to go for plasma cannons next. Fantastic. Let's check in on our worlds here. Okay, this agro world requires housing. We'll put in the city district. This tech world requires a job. I would love to put in a research institute. That's not a thing just yet. So we'll put in a research lab. On this industrial world, I would absolutely love to put in a... Oh, we can. Ministry of Production. Beautiful. Do it. On this mining world, for the moment, we're going to build a mining district here. That'll be fine. Anything else? That's it for now. The Uzab Vortex station here is only a level two. We're going to upgrade that to a Starhold. Cool. The Horde is apparently here. That's interesting. That, mean that means that they came through the Elgate. Fascinating. Well, our surveying is underway here. And we need to keep watch for additional enemies coming in. But once we have this location, that's going to be a big deal for us. The discovery of the first cl crashed flying machine set us on the right path and led to the discovery of a multitude of similar crashed sites littering the surface of the planet. Without doubt, these strange dead machines have something to do with the mysterious geometrical shapes that dot this world, but the extent of the damage caused by crash landings from high altitude will make analysis difficult. Okay. There are now additional fleets here, not just ours. Okay. That's actually kind of a good thing for us, because we are well ahead on the surveying. Okay, the latest Nema failed, but we can try again later. Let's get these surveys done. Hmm. Destroy the serpents. We've been working on that previously. Cool, battleship coming in. That's always a very, very good thing. Okay, we're done with this cluster up here. Hostile fleet encountered. Where did they pop in? Over this way. Cool. We'll let him be for now. 
They're turning around. These guys are going after them. Perfect. This is excellent. Look at all these fleets coming in here. I'm really happy about this. This means that we don't have to do this. They will eliminate these fleets for us. Who all is this? The Calictora Trade Association? Okay, we're on reasonably friendly terms with them. So that sounds good. We're gonna move our construction ship into orbit around Terminal Egress right now because we're almost done surveying. Beautiful. It's taking them a lot longer to destroy this Tempest Shoal than it takes us. With more fleets. They had a lot harder of a time than, than we did there. We leave this be for now. We definitely continue our survey. Okay. 72%. Survey complete. Got it. Our survey is done here now and we build our star base. We also, of course, reinforce our fleets. Now we're going to leave this to the Calictora for the moment. We're going to move everything but our construction ship up over this direction. So we want to know what's up over here. We're only going to explore the system and we're going to have our three primary fleets here in position to jump over immediately. So they're gonna move up over here And the Calictora can defend this for the moment, since they're, you know, right here. Beautiful. So we immediately see that there is a Tempest Shoal here. We're going to come on back to Terminal Egress. Because all we want to do then is explore up here, as well as exploring up over here. But we want to get into position over here. We will allow this battleship to join us, for sure. Okay, the battleship is now here, and we're going to head up over this direction. We want to eliminate this Tempest Shoal just as soon as we can. But now that we have Terminal Egress, that is a huge, huge deal. Okay, so we jump through over here. There are two Tempest Shoals here. So we definitely want to re-up our Edicts. So we do Focusing Crystals, all of these. There we go. And we counter these reasonably well, as evidenced by how quickly we destroy them. We are taking losses, though. There's no doubt about it. So those are now gone. What we need to do here is just wait for this. Cool. So there's two more there. We're going to back off, and we're going to immediately come up here to Shukan and survey. Excellent. The Calictora are leaving. So for the moment, we're going to pull back. That's fine. Technology discovered. Claim influence cost. Sure. That's always nice. Fleet command limit might not be a terrible idea either, but what we really need at this point is more alloys. That's our biggest, biggest issue for the moment. We definitely need to turn off our edicts, which we will do. And we need to continue to reinforce. We need a lot of alloys. We knew this would be the case. We're kind of neglecting all of this out over here. We can go ahead and build this starbase, though. The Merrimack will move up over here. And the Yangtze is chilling for the moment as well. Okay. So we're going to head over complete. here. We finished up our construction of this outpost. As soon as the month tick happens, we want to start upgrading this. This is a very important outpost to us. So we begin upgrading it, and we will also enter orbit here. Which I believe we can repair at now. Which is a very big deal. Right? We can repair here? We'll find out. Science ship under fire. Okay, uh, we're not sup c Can we pause, please? Thank you. Not interested. Move along. Okay. So, our science ship is being attacked up here. This isn't shocking. We figured that that would end up happening. We'll see what happens to it. We're trying to retreat. And... Let's see. 
missing in action. Okay, it'll return in a few months here. So that's reasonably fine. We may want to pull another science ship over, which we could do. But I think for the moment, this is reasonably okay. We got this system, and that's the most important thing. I also want to go grab this volatile moat. That's a fairly safe one to grab. And as soon as this is done upgrading to a starport, yeah, that's when we're going to be able to start repairing. So for the time being, we definitely need to chill. I'm going to get the Merrimack working up over here. Oh, we're lacking influence on that. Okay. In that case, we will continue constructing reinforcements. Cool. So we're going to build over here and get our reinforcements in. Construction complete. Wonderful. The excavation of the ancient structure found near the valley's entrance is proceeding according to plan. Many artifacts have been discovered, most of which seem to be variations of hunting weapons and trophies. A partially translated sign, which appears to denote the name of the structure, reads Valley of McVale, Hunting Lodge Primus. Curious. Okay, so we're continuing to reinforce this. We do desperately need to get this starport built. 250 days on that. The Ganges isn't doing anything, and we definitely want it to build mining stations. The Merrimack can go ahead and build a star base out here. And the Yangtze, we're going to be lacking influence for that. That's okay for now. Okay. Actually, we should send the Yangtze up to grab this rare crystal up here, and then it can come back, since we're going to be just idling it anyway. That seems fine. Cool. So they seem much less likely to attack us here now, but we need to get this starbase finished up here. It's obviously not very powerful, but we are somewhat impregnable to the Tempest Trolls here. Hostile fleet encountered. So that's good. Now they're gonna pop in over this way. And we'll see what they do. They're just turning around and leaving. Complete. So they're just scouting us out. Sounds good. The Orinoco finished up here in Terminal Egress. We're going to go grab this mining structure over here. We're kind of greeting a bit, but it's okay. We just want to chill and play this patiently for the moment. The Plasma Cannon is done. And I kind of want to... Honestly, Archimitters and Particle Lances are the way to go here. Okay. There we go. We can, of course, continue to reinforce... Charter of worker Workers' Rights as an emergency measure? Okay, that's fine. Um, why did we go to Seoburg? That's weird. We're going to jump drive over to Urcanon's Maw, and we're going to then use that, of course, to come into Terminal Egress here. And I would like to start researching some of these projects here. Cool. So we'll get that underway. The Saipan Station is building as quickly complete. as it can. The Merrimack is ready to build mining stations, and then we'll head over to Cador. Technology cool. discovered. There's our fleet command limit coming up, so that's always fine. We can grab more fleet command limit, but this isn't really super helpful to us because of our naval cap. That's okay for the moment. The Uzab Vortex will be upgraded soon, but the thing that we're... Oh, the Grey Khan died. Okay. That's exciting. What we're most interested in right now is getting the starport. Being able to repair here is a big deal. We could jump back through the L gate, but I really don't want to right now. It's still quite dangerous for us. So we're going to do something like this and hope that we can. They're just testing our defenses for the moment and not really doing anything too major. We're building up and we will eventually be able to push forward and take them out. That is a Vlur being sent in. Oh my, by Vlur. Okay, so Scum and Villainy on Ishnor Prime. Have we already worked on this? We have not here. We're going to go ahead and put in Precinct Houses and we're also going to launch an anti-crime campaign. Done. Okay. So let's look through our worlds here. This rural world is actually going to become an industrial world. And we're going to put in an alloy foundry here. 
There we go. We need more alloys. That's very clear. This industrial world requires housing. And honestly, that means an industrial district. We lost the Santa Maria's scientist. We'll go for, like, this guy. Cool. Anything else? No, that all looks good. The Santa Maria, of course, is just chilling at Seelberg. We need to assist research. There we go. Okay. So that's all good. We're making a good amount here. Investigation of the unrecognized fleet signatures in the terminal egress system revealed an unexpected discovery. The fleet is not, in fact, in safe orbit of the black hole, but rather crossing its event horizon. Science officer Vaki Bathan conjectures that the fleet approached Terminal Egress's event horizon centuries ago, whereupon time dilation left their image detectable on its surface. Whether the fleet's actions were intentional or the result of some unhappy accident, we may never know. Their signatures match no known civilization on record. So, some ex extra society research available here. Cool. We absolutely extend our curator research deal. And once we're done over here, we will build our research site. And we can take our science chip. It's not our science chip. We can take our science chip over here and research this. Now, this is dangerous, but it should be, in theory, quasi-okay. Ooh, titans. We absolutely grab titans here. Beautiful. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. So that is our starport done. We're going to put in gun battery, missile battery, and a disruption field generator and upgrade that to a star hold. But I believe we're now able to repair here. Yes. And we are repairing. That is perfect. That'll save us a lot. After recovering one of the more intact crash tracks and reverse engineering it, the purpose of this orbital network became clear. The machines were automated cutting beams, placed around Krant 1. Their function was to completely dismantle the planet, carving it up piece by piece over a span of centuries. Not long after the endeavor began, perhaps a few decades based on projections, something interrupted the procedure. The automated cutters lost power, and their orbit decayed, until one by one they smashed themselves to bits on the planet's surface. Theories abound as to why anyone would do this, whether it was mining on a hitherto un unimagined scale, or some obscure doomsday cult out to break and remake the world, a quirk of unknowable alien psychology, or just code that went awry after the original creators vanished, none can say. Well, we got a bunch of engineering research out of that anyway. Okay, so that was... which science ship? This one. Okay. Looking for other archaeological sites to work on here. There's one down over here. So we'll excavate that. Cool. Our fleets are being repaired, and they will be repaired very soon here. We're also continuing to reinforce them. They'll get there eventually. They will definitely get there eventually. Now we're at 22 out of 21 starbase cap. We knew that that would happen. That's fine. These are all repaired now. And we can see that these fleets are definitely pretty dramatically more powerful. Okay. So they're going to attack our science ship. Very rude. We figured that that might happen. The science ship is complete. just going to keep working. Okay. It retreated there. Yeah, it'll be back. Cool. So we'll eliminate these guys, no problem. Our picket ship's really doing work here. We are currently in breach of galactic law. Uh, that is because we don't have enough fleet power, I think. Yeah, we don't have enough fleet power relative to our naval cap. We're working on it. We're working on it. We are producing ships as quickly as we can. In fact, we should probably sell off a good amount of materials here. Volatile moats, definitely, like so. Uh, let's sell off some minerals and some food. And we're going to use this to buy in a good number of alloys here. Yeah, about 9,000 alloys. Beautiful. We'll reinforce all. And we'll pump those ships out quickly. We should no longer be in breach of galactic, galactic law soon. The Horde reverted to its old ways. That's to be expected for sure. Okay. 
So we're building our terminal egress research stations here, and we can continue to reinforce. But it is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will finish our rebuilding here, I hope, and very, very soon, strike out and take over the rest of the L Cluster. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken Twin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cameron, Martin Lawrence, Jens Graham, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.